All right, now we expect lots of excitement for this one. It'll be hard to top the excitement of last year's National League playoffs where the Phillies won every home NL playoff game. And one of those games came against Division Foe Atlanta, yeah. a game memorable to most fans because it clinched a spot in the NLCS, but memorable to one man from South Jersey for an entirely different and much more serious reason. But that story, here's Taryn Hatcher. <laughs> Life-saving moment brought to you by Independence Blue Cross. Learn more at IBX.com. We got a perfect day for game four this series. The atmosphere was electric. You could just feel the energy. It's second to none, man. It, it, it really is. Fans provided a raucous atmosphere at Citizens Bank Park for game four of last year's NLDS against Atlanta. If they get up out to a lead, it's, man, it's loud. Brandon Marsh staked the fills to that lead. He lifts one in the air. Deep right field. There it goes. Next inning, it was JT Real Muto's turn. Back into his right as Harris towards the angled wall to the track at the wall reaches out. It comes off the wall. It rolls away. JT flying around second. He's heading for third. Dusty Watson is going to wave him home. Here's the relay to the plate. There'll be no throw. JT slides. It's an inside the park. Home run. JT's heroics had fans' hearts racing. Eric Scheinholz was one of them, but his heart was also doing something much more serious. I was at the top of the stairs when he hit the ball, so he didn't put me into a heart attack. I was already probably having one. The 49-year-old took a rest at the top of the stairs, then made it to the first aid station. He told the EMTs he had a headache, but Jay Jones and Ronald Booker could sense more was going on. Intuition, it wasn't acting right. I asked him if he was having chest pain. He said, I just have a little indigestion. Can I get an antacid? I looked over to Ron and you know, let's get him an EKG. I said, okay, come on. Let's go take a, a little better look underneath the hood. And so I went and I took his blood pressure and I said, oh, a little bit higher than I'm a little comfortable with. I said, let's do a further examination. And I gave him a 12 lead EKG. That's when the alarm bell started going off. I was like, wow, we have to hurry and get this guy to the hospital. Once I started realizing that I was getting into an ambulance, it kind of changed. So. Uh, they obviously had to call my wife, and then I made sure I told everybody. I did not want my son or his girlfriend knowing that what was going on. I wanted them to see the game. I don't think it really sunk in with him and his wife until we all got to the hospital. She was like, oh my God. I was like, yes, it's that serious that we need to go. Turns out Eric had a 95% blockage in the main artery of his heart. The alert actions of Ronald and Jay saved his life. To them, it was just another day in the office. Uh, but to me and my family, and you know, and to people you know, before me and after me, I don't think they realize how special they are. While recovering, Eric wore his JT jersey as a hospital gown, sharing smiles with doctors at Jefferson. A week later, he was back at the ballpark. You saved my life. Dude. Sharing an emotional meeting with Jay and Ronald. He calls these EMTs heroes. They say it's all in a day's work. I'm just an everyday person. I'm doing a job just like everybody else do their job when they come to work. But on a day where most fans will remember an inside the park home run, these EMTs will remember a home run of a different kind. I guess Eric hit a home run that day. It wasn't on the scoreboard. So he got to return home for his family and friends. So that's important to us. Yeah, that's the most important thing, yes. For Welcome Back Phillies, Taryn Hatcher, NBC Sports Philadelphia.